Okay, in this video we're going to look at health points and how we show damage being inflicted on both ourselves and on the other characters and how we can inflict damage on those characters and ourselves. So we're going to go to load world, we can go to test world and go back to edit. Now at the moment when we play there are objects that can damage us but they mostly just destroy us. But what I've started to do you'll see is add a whole series of small rocks in here. So let's add a couple more in. And what we're going to do with these rocks is we're going to program those so that they cause us damage. So we're going to click on the character, we're going to click on a space, we're going to click on rock, we're going to click on rock. Now if we go to our main character and we go to change settings and we scroll down we can switch on this thing called show hit points and then when I press escape you'll see it gets like a health bar above his head and we can do the same here with Frank change settings, scroll down, show hit points, press escape. Now you can see the health points of both of those two. What we want though is we want them to be able to lose health points. If we program the fish or the, the uh, cycle, they tend to affect other things. So we're going to program the objects that affect them. So I'm going to right click on the rock, I'm going to program this rock. And what I want to happen is I want to say when he's bumped, it doesn't really matter what he's bumped by so we could go to objects we could go to any bot there we go we want him to combat and we want him to cause damage and we could set a random amount of damage on this so if we press escape now it's only this one I've programmed so we're going to press play and zoom right in and turn around and if I hit this rock now you see there's an effect happening when I hit that one but it's not happening when I hit a different one now if I want that effect to be different I can change obviously the amount it affects this by so we can go back onto here go back to program and it might be that instead of um, random we want to set it to be a certain number of points so let's say 10 points just press escape just press play again zoom in again so we can see a bit more clearly turn around and let's see if we can get to that rock again this time okay it very quickly killed us we'd have to move off maybe 10 is too big so we can go back on we can repeat that we can go back to program or maybe I need to practice my gameplay Let's change the points this time to two. Press escape, press play, zoom right in. And if we touch it this time, we get a heavy amount of impact. Now, the way I've programmed this, only that rock is damaging it. So it could be that all rocks damage you, or maybe you only want it to be some. If it's only some, you can work your way around, and you can either program each one, or you can right click on the one we've programmed, and you can go to copy, go to a new place and go paste. If I'm doing this, it might be a good idea to make these rocks a slightly different colour. So for instance, this one's red rocks. We now know that the red rocks, we go to copy and paste over here, are damaging. But the grey rocks and the yellow rock won't cause us any problems. So let's press play this time. So this time if I go and touch the grey rock, that's fine. It just rolls around. If I touch the red rock, I take a substantial amount of damage. So I've now got to steer around. I can touch the greys, try and get the apples, but try not to touch the red ones. If this becomes too difficult, you could actually give yourself back some health points. And it could be that when you collect an apple, you regain health points. So we could go back onto the object tool we could click on Oscar, we could go to program, and we could say that when he bumps an apple, he at the moment gets points for this, we could say that he's healed, and we could do the same thing, we could say by a certain number, so let's give him two points of health each time he touches an apple. And then if we press play this time, let's take him across to the red one so he gets damaged first. There we go. But then he touches the apple, he gets a bit of health back, hopefully. 
touched another apple. Touched another apple. So we can get another apple down here. Not a red rock. another bit of health hopefully back and quite small amounts we're regaining so it might be that we want to change that number and this is the key thing you're just playing around with the game making it a little bit more fun now we could now start to program an event where the game actually ends so at the moment when all the apples are selected the game kind of runs out of steam but we could have something where he's got to gain a certain number of apples so we could say within the programming when, and if we go into the options here, he scored, so remember he's getting one point for each apple, and he's scoring the black points, so when he scored more than let's say four points, then we can say he wins the game. Let's press escape now. We could also program it that way as well so that Frank could potentially win the game as well. Why is it saying win immediately? You can see what the mistake I made. Let's go back in to the program. Let's change that one around. So if the score is greater than four. Okay, let's press play, zoom in this time. That's one point, gets two points, gets three points. I get the fourth point or have all the apples already gone let's make this game slightly easier by adding a couple of extra apples same thing come down And then we win the game. Obviously, it would be better if I practice rather than cheating by having extra apples. But it does now allow you to add health points. You've now got scores and you've now got a clear win. At that point, we're going to save it so we don't lose any progress. So save my world, press save, press save, and exit to the main menu.